What is going on guys? Aaron here with AV Astronomy. Last time I did a video, I was talking to you guys about starting over. And since then I have been waiting for quite some time now to uh, get the rest of this gear in. And it has all finally arrived and I've got it all set up. I haven't used it yet. So really excited to get my feet wet again with everything and getting this started. But today is just gonna be a show and tell. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the new rig, what I'm planning to do with this new rig, some of my expectations and goals with this. So with that, let's get started and check out this new rig. So let's start with the mount. I wanted something that was portable, but still solid. And after doing a lot of research, I decided to go with the iOptron Gem 28 Equatorial Mount. The mount comes standard with anti-vibration pads, which I thought was really cool. 11 pound counterweight. And an eye port, which is used for GPS. And of course, a handy dandy controller to control everything. And I'm sure you can see the ASI Air Plus on the top here, which is gonna be the Wi-Fi module I use to control everything. And we'll get into more of that in just a minute. The telescope is a William Optics Xenostar 61. It is a small wide field refractor and it will do fantastic on wide field nebula targets that I'll be chasing. The camera is the ASI 294mm and attached to it is the electronic filter wheel which will house both my LRGB filters and narrowband filters. I've got a focal reducer field flattener and this will take the focal length down from 360mm down to 288 which is fantastic for wide field targets. And then sitting on top, we have the ASI Air Plus. What I love most about the ASI Air Plus is this will finally allow me to get away from the laptop, all the cable clutter coming off of the, the scope and mount, and will allow me to wirelessly control everything from polar alignment to guiding to image capture, filter change, everything wirelessly through my iPad or my iPhone. So that's awesome. The auto guiding setup consists of an ASI 120mm mono camera and the iOptron eye guider mini scope. As you can see here, everything will be powered through the ASI Air Plus. It will act as my power hub, my USB hub for connections. Everything will go through the ASI Air and I'll have one power cable coming off of that to power the mount as well as all the electronics. Another key thing I wanted to achieve with a new setup was just having a lighter payload, just something that's easier to set up and break down since I have to do that every time I image. And this thing is a featherweight compared to the Beast Newtonian and three weights I had on the EQ6R Pro. I think it was coming in just over 100, 120 pounds. So this comes in, I think, right around 35, 40 pounds. So way easier to manage very simple to set up. I'm going to start with the initial setup and just get this thing geared up and ready to go. I don't expect any serious results tonight, but hopefully uh, I can at least get it up and running on the first night. So we'll have a follow-up video soon and hopefully have some first results with this new setup. Well guys, that is my quick preview of the new setup and what I've got going on. If you're interested in any of the gear that I showed you today, I'll put some links in the description below. As always, thanks for watching. And if you're new, 
go check out some of my other videos. I have some great tutorials on how to set up polar alignment, guiding, you name it. I've got all kinds of stuff, image processing to help you guys out and get you started. But thanks for watching. Always remember to keep on looking up, keep on seeking. God bless. And until next time, clear skies. Take care.